and I'm gonna show you my routine. Look how thick. Always double wraps. Highly recommend this one. Look at how good she's doing. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm actually filming this video. If you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Annika. Welcome. This is a different setup that I'm normally used to. We're in the bathroom today. I don't really do much filming in here, but today we're doing it because if you don't know, I have been on the toughest mentally for me hair journey ever. I started out my life with just the longest, most voluminous hair ever. And then I got the teenage urge to go blonde and then I went completely blonde and it just ruined my hair so much so this is my hair care must-haves slash journey slash routine because i'm going to show you all my products that i really love and then it's wash day hence the slick back so we're gonna hop in the shower and i'm gonna show you my routine my shower day routine but to give you a context and qualifications that i'm giving you these recommendations this was my hair December 2022, okay? Look how thick and voluminous and just amazing that is, okay? Then this was after I just really started going blonde. This is how blonde I got. Like it really genuinely looks like I have a wig on. And then... This is, so remember the December 2022 picture? This was October 2023. My hair was completely gone. Like, and when I saw this picture and I compared these two, I lost my mind. I really lost my mind and I DM'd my hairdresser, bless her heart, I'm so sorry to this day. It was like nine o'clock at night and I DM'd her and I was like, I have to fix my hair. I have to fix my hair. Cause I just went from such long, luxurious locks to me basically chopping it all off by blonding it. So she's like, Annika, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's gonna take a while. And I was like, okay, but what's the fastest way I can do it? Cause I will do it. And she said, get these products, don't use heat, these things and then no more blonde and then possibly like a kind of a biggest chop and I said well the chop is very low on the list and I want that to happen so I got all these products many that didn't work but many that did so I want to show you the ones that really did work and give you my recommendation this line how do you say this name hair sauce okay. don't be mad at me if I say this wrong I believe it's Kerastase that's what it looks like. This line on Kerastase, the Resistance Bane Force Architect, is literally, I, I swear this is what made my hair so strong. This, I got the shampoo first and then I just got the conditioner and I really can't see the difference. This shampoo has lasted me so long and it really, really is the best. Like I definitely noticed my hair difference when I started using this. This isn't always during my shower routine. But the key to getting really healthy, clean hair is to always double rinse. So I go in with this shampoo and then follow it by the Amica, just signature shampoo. If you need more hydrating, get the hydrating one. I just went with the signature and I trust Amica because a lot of hair salons use them exclusively. So that's how you know that they're good. And I have so many products from them and really, really do like them. And so for my double shampoo, I just went with like a really working on rebuilding and strengthening and lengthening my hair and then just a signature to double wash it and make it real clean. So that's the shampoos I do. Okay. Then for conditioners, I go in with the matching one of the Hair Stoss shampoo. And then for smell, I do the Soul 
De Janeiro. Is it a Civic scent? I think this is the only one they have. This is the Sol De Janeiro conditioner in the 62 scent, and it really adds a nice fragrance that's subtle. So for those, I just mix these together, and I've, so far it's working great for me. So this is the shampoo and skin conditioner lineup. Next, one other things I use in the shower, probably what does it recommend to do? I, I'd say I do this like twice a month. When I go to the hair salon now, I don't go blonde, obviously. Look at this picture and this. Like, you cannot tell me I was meant to be blonde. Anyway, instead of getting my hair blonde at the salon now, I get glosses. And for in between going to the salon, Amika, again, has this instant shine mask that gives kind of the same-ish almost. So this is really good if you just want to do it for an event or just overall make your hair look better and it gives somewhat of a salon experience so I use this about twice a month and it looks almost the same not exactly obviously but pretty close for after shower this I use only when I'm gonna blow dry my hair because that's once in a blue moon but I use this and if you've not seen the rave on this on TikTok you're not on hair TikTok because it's everywhere I was with Samantha Joe one time and she literally bought the biggest thing possible for you to buy of it because it works so Good. You spray this on, but you have to use heat on it to activate it. So that's why I only use it when I'm blow drying my hair. And I literally, I live in Tennessee. I live in a bowl that's humid. This makes my hair not frizz up. I don't know how. I don't know how. Do not ask me because I don't know. But it seriously is magic. I've never ha not had my hair poofy after blow drying it. And hardly any poof with this and then about two years ago i would say we all jumped on the adults using detangler we all were like we're not four years old we're not using detangler but then we were like oh that kind of checks out so our hair doesn't break off and mom caught on to it before i did and i tried all of her detanglers and i just felt like it left kind of like a residue film on my hair and i really didn't like it which led me to not wanting to use detanglers but i have found one and this is the only one i like and it's the Prep Rally by Drybar. Smells magnificent. And it leaves like nothing on your hair. It's really just to make your hair be able to brush out. It doesn't leave any kind of feel to it. So that's why I've kept using this one. And then this spray is also something I just spray in my hair. If I'm being completely honest, I got it at one of my brow appointments because it says strength and thickness boosting spray for weakened hair. And I said, that's exactly what I'm going through. So I just spray it through my hair before I'm brushing it. And I mainly do it in like the middle section because that's where I have the most breakage. I really want to heal my split ends without having to chop it all off. So I gave this a try and I honestly would rebuy this solely for the smell. The smell is better than anything I've ever smelled in my life. And I do think it's worked for what it's supposed to do. So highly recommend this one for if you don't want to go and get the whole shampoo and conditioner, but still want to get some thickening and lengthening nice products. The next two are for my curls. When I, sometimes I brush my hair after and like make sure it's all like laying nice. Sometimes I blow dry and then sometimes I just scrunch my curls and let them be free. And for when I want to do that, I use these two products. I used to not stand by this one, but then I followed a girl. I'll put her at right here. I followed a girl on TikTok and this is what she swears by and her hair is Mwah! So I started using it again. It was in the back of all my hair care and it really kind of just makes it more moisturized and not so dried out when you wake up. And then also this Kristen S curl defining jelly. I don't love mousse because it just leaves your hair so crunchy and it makes you feel like you didn't even just wash your hair. So the jelly just leaves a boost of curling in your hair. This is what I found that leaves the less like lingering feel. And so if I really want to embrace my natural curls, I'll use these. And then for when it comes to just like straight moisturizing my hair slash for slick backs, I always use this. It is the Amica Velveteen Dream. When the Day Cactus Cream went viral, I was not able to get it. And this was the number one after that. And I already loved Amica, so I was like, well, why not? And I got it. Again, it smells phenomenal. I'd say the number one thesis of all my stuff is that everything smells really good. 
but this leaves just some kind of like shining defining smoothness to your hair and it's really just like a styling smoothing balm and I really like it and then I put this on dry hair I put this on my ends if they're looking frizzy I do this for my slick backs I do it for everything I do this only when I'm out of the shower and I feel like I want to brush my hair but I also want to scrunch it just a little bit and give it some hydration because I've heard that my frizzy hair is because of dehydration in my hair so I feel like if I just scrunch it up in this it hydrates it and I can't say it's too much because of this if you're just needing a good hydrating cream this one's great all right well we have two more before I hop in the shower and it is my serums I have two different ones. Obviously, my hairdresser recommended Kerastase because that's what I went and bought literally everything of. But she said this was the number one serum for rebuilding your hair. And it does really like feel like it's bonding your hair back together. I don't know how to explain it. And it smells phenomenal. And then the Sol de Janeiro hair oil. It's the Brazilian Glossy, and let me tell you, it does exactly that. It puts a gloss on your hair. If you straighten your hair a lot, this puts just the most, like, Barbie shine on your hair ever. And it smells phenomenal once again. These are my highly recommend hair oils, and they both do great things for your hair, honestly. Okay, well, that's all of my products that I really stand by. And so now let's get into my routine, my wash day routine. Also, always using elastics that are like actual material and not just like rubber band. Helps with your hair not coming out so much. I tried to put on the most covering swimsuit I could find. Don't get it started. Don't look at that. see this clear it's just the screen that's foggy if not my apologies I put on my robe this is my name from Hollister I just I love it every time I put it on but before I go put some real clothes on I have to now learned the importance of like an actual terry I don't know what this is actually I think it's terry cloth don't mark my words on that how important this is for your hair your hair is the most delicate when it's wet so you can't just put it up in any old regular towel that's going to rip all your hairs out when you rip it out. And I honestly want to figure out more about the t-shirt method because I've heard that's so good for your hair. But I haven't entered into it. So therefore, right now we're sticking with this. I'm going to clean this off one more time. Just in case. So, this is what I put my hair in. It's super easy. It has a little hook right here, a little button, and an elastic on this side. So that it's super easy. Don't mind me using a stroller. So I just put the button on the bottom. Twist it. And then get the little back, get the little elastic and hook it. And it sticks like this. It's much better for your hair than regular towel. Okay, let me go put some clothes on. Alright, it is time for me to go to bed. So we gotta get this hair done. <sighs> I love this hoodie. Anyway. We're gonna take it down and I was really just 
contemplating which kind of hair I wanted to do tonight, whether I wanted to brush it out or not. And I think I'm going to, yeah, I think I'm going to. So, that means we will be using this product, this product, and probably this product. Okay, this is my brush specifically for detangling. It's like what it's made for. I have, this is my favorite, favorite brush because it gets everything so smooth. It doesn't go over any knots. That's my favorite one. It's the dry bar one. But this one is my favorite for detangling. I'm gonna spray my detangler in. And my mystery magic. Mystery magic, that's what we're gonna call this. My mystery magic. That goes mostly on my middle area. A little bit on the bottom. And then we're gonna brush. Always start from the bottom so you don't have any breakage. Unnecessary breakage. Also, one thing uh, that deserves a highly recognizable mention was is my Kitsch silk pillowcases. Such a difference. One side of my hair, like right now, is still recovering from sleeping on that specific side. Like one side of my hair is literally shorter from sleeping on it. But from switching to silk pillowcases, I really can see a difference. And they're honestly just more comfy, especially if you get hot in the middle of the night, which I do. They're just better. And I put them under my I put them under my comforter when I make my bed so it doesn't really matter what color you have, if they match your bed or in your room or not. But it does really do so much for your hair health. Look at how good she's doing. Wow, I'm so proud sometimes when I look at her. And it's like healthy. My hairdresser, I went in before my birthday and she was like, Annika, I'm gonna be completely honest. Like when you first were panicking, I had no hope for you within even a two years and you were my inspiration stories that I tell my clients because did you see that? Because what you've done is truly magical. Like you are the definition if you really try hard enough it can happen. I'm just gonna take my my cream and give it a little bit of a little bit of dimension with the curl so it's not like stick straight and doing whatever it wants. And this gives it just a little bit back from brushing it. I know this is a very niche video because you only really need to wash this if you need healthy hair and help on a hair journey. But if you didn't and you're still watching, wow, I love you so much. And I hope this helps just at least one person within the next six months feel more confident with their hair. If I had to let you go with one product that you must get. I'm gonna do two, I'm gonna do two. As far as shampoos go, and just like overall, if you wanna start getting healthy hair, like my healthy hair, recommendation is the Kerastase shampoo. But if you are a big fan of slick backs and like styling your hair, this cream, I probably use it every single day. So, what a fun video we just did together. I am so happy to be able to help you if this did. And I really hope it did because I wish I had something like this to watch when I was going through mine. And yeah, if you are not in love with your hair blonde, just give it a break, see what, see what happens. Cause I, now I like my natural hair better. Like I don't think I would ever go back blonde, blonde, blonde again. That's my hair routine slash my hair care must have slash my journey and all that. I hope you loved it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.